Hi, Gemini. I'm Brenda, and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of July the 7th to July the 14th. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel and all the subscribers coming in every day, leaving me wonderful testimonials and positive things, and that's what keeps me coming out every week, and I truly do give grace and gratitude and thank you for that. We start our week, Gemini, with an air card. And this particular air card is the Knight of Air. And this uh, there, this tells me, like this knight who charges in on his steed with great speed, that it's saying for some of you there's events coming into your life right now that are occurring at a great speed. and that you. But even though they are coming in fast, what they're saying is you need to put you know, the brakes on a little bit and realize that you need to take time careful, carefully to um, to review all the options that you have to deal with this event coming in very quickly. Because this card says that there will be solutions to this situation coming in and they will be creative solutions that you're going to use to help with this event. <clears throat> on Tuesday, another air card. And this particular air card is the Five of Air. And it's telling me that maybe on Monday with those events coming in, you're going to be deal dealing with a choice that you're going to have to make. And they're saying right now that you need to review everybody else's motives that have to do with you making this choice. or And, you, and you're going to learn from this situation uh, because of it. So it's a cautionary card. Yes, you're going to be faced with choices that you have to make. But make sure you look behind the scenes at other people's motives before you make this choice. On Wednesday, you have been given the moon card. And the moon card is all about you listening to your own intuition. So perhaps that had to do with those other two cards at the beginning of the week, the choice that you have to make in this event coming in very quickly to you right now. So um, you may have some feelings of insecurity. And this stems from unreal and, and irrational concerns. All you have to worry about is your own self-awareness and to overcome, this will help you overcome past blocks that you've had in your past, in your background, okay? This particular card talks about awakening to some truths about yourself that you've kept hidden because you need to know that you are a brilliant light. On Thursday, you've been given the strength card. And this particular card talks about you needing to realize for some of you that you're actually stronger than you think you are. Okay? You're able to uh, to handle any situation right now coming into your life. But what they're saying about the strength card is that you need to seek and go within yourself. You can be strong without being abrasive, without having to go in with your guns blaring, without having to get angry and stressed out. This card talks about you uh, doing this and dealing with this, any situations coming into you with kindness, compassion, and gentleness, patience, and forgiveness. They're saying that what the situation that you're going to deal with is, you need to deal with it with honey in a softer manner rather than vinegar and being abrasive. On... Friday, you have been given another major card, and this particular major card is the Renewal card. And this is telling me for some of you, you are facing the end of a project or you're at a crossroads in your life right now, but know that you are on the threshold of making an important change in your life. This particular card refers to perhaps that this change is going to have to do with legal issues, but they are going to be resolved favorably for you. If some of you have been dealing with doing writing exams and taking tests, know that the outcome of those will go well. Uh, some of you are making a landmark decision in your life or it, it, that has to do with your career or job change. Um, some of you are moving to it in a different direction with these issues. But know that it is a new beginning, okay? It's time to move. That's what this renewal card refers to. It talks about change and it's time to move in a new direction. On Saturday, you've been given a fire card. 
And this particular fire card is the five of fire. This tells me that some of you are deal dealing with some bothersome details in your life right now. And it, it, these are almost like competing goals that are happening around some of you. And you need to know that this can cause some minor little conflicts with people around you. So it's a cautionary card, okay, right now. Uh, know that at uh, the end of the week you may be dealing with uh, others and there may be little conflicts coming up because of it. Because of the, because it's competition that's, that's causing this to happen. Okay, another major card, and this particular major card is the chariot. And the chariot is all about a big congratulatory in some of your lives because some of you have been dealing with situations in your life, but but now you've successfully balanced this challenging situation. So they're saying you need to sit back and smile about it, uh, at what you've accomplished, because you've done this only because of your own sheer discipline and sheer willpower. It was a great leap of faith that some of you have taken, but it's also uh, it's also a good one because some of you are actually getting recognized for this, and it may even be to the point of public recognition. You may be getting a promotion. You may be getting an award for what you've been doing out there. So congratulations for that. That's what this chariot means. Also the chariot, because it's actually a mode of transportation, it deals with that for some of you. Maybe going on a trip and traveling. And you will be traveling in many different modes of uh, vehicles. Maybe it's a chariot. Wouldn't that be interesting? Maybe some of you are going somewhere where you're going to see a chariot. But it does refer to traveling and, and different modes of travel vehicles. End of the week, my friend. What a lovely card for you to get. So this tells me that some of you are dealing with romance in your life. What a wonderful thing to deal with. Uh, it's a wonderful card. So you can sit back and smile. Some of you that have been wondering about a relationship in your life right now, the romance has come out. The romance card is saying that some of you are going to have a love come into your life. Or perhaps it's a renewal of love in your life right now that you've had time to work on. And, uh, and sit back and enjoy that, my friends. Romance card is a nice card to have and tie in the end of your week. Okay, so I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel. And I truly, truly do appreciate that because that's what keeps me coming out here every single week. I leave you again with another quote. And that quote today I chose is, Today be thankful and think how rich you are. Your family is priceless. Your time is gold. And your health is truly your wealth. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. I want you to know I continue to stand in the circle of light for you.